What's up, Rob from MyPPCTraining.com, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to optimize your Google AdWords campaign on a weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly basis. Totally up to you. All right, so today's video, we're going to show you how to optimize a Google AdWords campaign. We're going to be using our white label pay per click campaign for our agency as an example because that's one we have data from. From I guess we're going to use all time data because we kind of turn this on and off like every other week. So, all right, let's get right into it. So you should be logged into your AdWords account now. There's a few different things you're going to do, and keep in mind, guys, this is like a high level thirty thousand foot view of optimization. A lot more goes into it if you're trying to really, you know, run your AdWords the way you're supposed to run it. All right, so let's go right into our campaign. We come into overview. We'll have our hit our quick hit stats right here. And the first thing we're going to do is go down to settings. I'm sorry, devices, and we're going to check our device bids and see what uh, if we can make some adjustments to get more leads here and uh, turn off stuff that's not converting. So you can see here we turn off mobile phones because the site we're using for this is our um, is our main site and the mobile version is just not something we want to send traffic to right now. So we turn that off by basically um, negative bid adjusting 100%. So we're running tablet traffic, which are like iPads and Android, stuff like that, and computer desktop traffic. So you can see here, computer desktop obviously is getting more most of the impressions and conversions, converting at um, 33%. This, there's just not enough data yet to know. We haven't really had much traffic, obviously one click. So we, we can't really make any adjustments on this. So, but this is doing really well. So what I would do, and position 2.4, we could do a little bit better. So I would bump to this 5%. So that's optimization number one is device bids. Bump that and see how that does. And I'm just leave this because we just, there's no data here to make a decision. So that's number one. Number two, we go into our keywords at the campaign level. So remember, go out to add, go out to add groups. If you're in an ad group. And then you go into keywords, and these are your keywords at the campaign level. And you can sort by clicks. And you can just see here, you should have all your columns set up. Clicks, impressions, click-through rate, average cost per click, cost, conversions, cost conversion, conversion rate, quality score, search impression share. Now, if you don't have these and you're not seeing these, that's okay. It's very easy to add them. You come up here, modify columns. And then you just start adding them through here. So if, if you want performance stuff, clicks, costs, all that stuff, you just check the box you want to see, go down the list of everything you want to see, hit apply. That's all you would do. And then you would see that. All right, back to keywords. So we're looking at click-through rate and conversion. All right, so converting 66%. This is awesome. Average cost per click, $33. So we're still under what we're actually bidding, which is good. Now here's three clicks and no leads, and that cost us $98. So that's something we might want to be like, all right, let's uh, let's drop that down a little bit. Let's go down to 29. Let's drop it down a couple bucks because it, it's not turning in anything for us right now. And three clicks, guys. I I mean I get it. I know nine impressions. Usually I wouldn't even touch this, but for example sake for this video, so you can see what my thought process is, I'm just gonna do it. Another one, three clicks. Nothing here. I would drop that down a couple bucks. Let's go down to 37, 72. We just want to chip away at that wasted ad spend. Then here we got two clicks, one lead. That looks pretty good. We're bidding good on that. And then a bunch of one clicks, so I wouldn't touch any of this stuff. And these are these are converting. So that's that's a positive sign already. All right, so that's number two. That is optimizing your keyword bids. Now, if you're using an auto bid strategy, you, you're not going to be able to come in here and manually adjust based on keyword. How you would do that is you would do it in the settings. And this is just for people who use manual or uh, auto bidding. So if, if you're not, just don't, you know, hold off for a second if you're not using it. I'm just going to show them how to do it. You come into bidding. Let me just get. So let's say you're using maximize clicks, and you would just adjust your maximum CPC bid limit. That's how you would up your bids if you have, you know, poor ad position or you want to increase your bids. All right. So we did devices, we did keywords, keyword bid adjustments. Now we're gonna do 
the actual search terms, right? So we're back under the keywords tab. We're going to go into search terms. Now these are what this is you're looking at. These are the actual search terms typed into Google search bar that your ad showed for, okay? So you can see here, we've added some already. We've already done this. We've added them and excluded some. So we, at, we, we got leads on these two keywords that we weren't currently bidding on before, all right? So what we did, we went like this. We said add this keyword. And we just, you know, hit save and added them. And then we had one down here, management software. We don't do software. It has nothing to do with us. So what we did was we would take the word software, which is the root of the keyword, and we go under negative keywords, and we drop that in here at the campaign level. You would add group of campaign. Do at the campaign level. We phrase match out software, and the phrase match means we don't want our ad to show for any keyword that has the word software in it. And we'd save that, and that's it. We just added that. All right, so back over to search terms. What you do is just go through your keywords here, and you're gonna negative out the stuff that's irrelevant that you don't want your ads to show for, and you're gonna either add keywords that are sending you leads that you're not currently bidding on. And um, yeah, you're just gonna comb through this, and that's optimization tactic number three. Really, really simple stuff. Obviously, guys, I apologize. I don't have enough data here to show you something really cool. Um, I'm working on that. So I can get a campaign that's you know has a couple hundred conversions, so you can really dig in. But for now, we're just doing the best account of what we're looking at. So yeah, you just want to add the winners, exclude the losers, find keywords that your ads might be showing for that Google's trying to sneak in, like software, and make sure you, ne you negative the root of that word, which is software. Moving on, let's go back up to ad groups, and we have negative keywords you want to do. So let's say, let's say maybe you're, you've done some negative keyword research you know, um, based on the keyword, you use the keyword tool, which is up here. Sorry, we have uh, some roofing stuff going on in here. But this is the new negative, this is the new uh, keyword planner. So real quick, I'll touch on how to add negative keywords, because this is something that, you know, you should be doing also. So let's say our main theme of our campaign is white label PPC. We would add that for keyword ideas in Google's Keyword Planner, and we would scroll down and find. This is how we find our negatives. So, okay, here's PPC jobs. So that would be a good one. So we take that, take the word jobs, and we would come into our negative keyword list, hit the plus sign, add at the phrase match level. Remember, and job, and we, and we do campaign jobs. And this is something we build on. Every week we build on negative keywords. Just something to uh, help. And you can see here all the different keywords we have. It just basically tells Google all these all these keywords that we have in here. I, I do not want my ads to show for these. All right, They're a waste of money. They're not relevant to what I'm doing. So that's just quick, some quick hit optimization tactics. If you can stick with just these. And I didn't even do ads yet. So maybe I should probably run into ads for you guys. I just don't think I have enough data to do it, unfortunately. Go into ad groups. All right, so you would come in. So to do to optimize your ads too, it should be the last tactic you should do. And like I said, this is bare minimum stuff. You would come into the ad group, go up to ads and extensions, and you'll see your clicks here, and your conversion rate, and your CTR. Now you want to have a CTR always of at least a minimum of two point five, and obviously five or above is really it's awesome. The higher the better. But what you want to do is every week you're going to come in here, you're going to look at the ads. You should be running three or four ads. You can see we've already done this. We paused this. You want to be running three or four ads, and you're going to come in here, you're going to look at the data from the last seven days, 14 days, or 30 days, however, whatever time frame you guys opt to optimize your campaigns from. Totally up to you. We do it every week. And you're going to see which ad converted the best, and you're going to see which one converted the worst. So, so obviously this one did nothing. I mean, like I said, it only has three impressions, so it's it's tough to show you an example. But basically, you're gonna pause whatever one is the is doing the worst in your ad group, and you're gonna create a new ad to, in its place to run against the winners. And you're gonna do this every seven days or fourteen days or thirty days, whenever you want to optimize. So this way, you're constantly always improving your your ad copy and ad text to get higher conversions and higher click-through rates. So that's really important. 
So if you guys have any questions about optimization tactics, like I said, this is very basic 30,000 foot view stuff. So re for really advanced stuff, we're going to be coming out with that probably a course actually for the advanced stuff. But let me know if you have any uh, questions in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Give me a thumbs up and check out the links in the description. I've dropped some, some cool stuff in there, including one to our Facebook group. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video or I'll catch you in the group.